Welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a review on the 2018 Spring Conventions exclusive Doctor Who Amy Pond Pop. Now this is a pop I had my eyes on for a long time since it's been announced and it, I got it from ForbiddenPlanet.co.uk at the price of $16.99 which is, yeah it's a bit pricey but it's something I definitely wanted to pick up. Amy Pond is one of my favourite characters in Doctor Who and if you watch the show it's not hard to see why. On the front here we've got a nice picture of Amy Pond there with some freckles on her face of her lovely ginger hair. Amy Pond vinyl figure. We've got Doctor Who, number 600, television pop. On the side there, nice picture of Amy Pond. On the back, all the others you can get available in the wave. That side, not much. Not much going on at the top, but that lovely sticker there, I really do like those stickers. This is a uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive, and um, here in the UK, I'm sorry about that glare of that light, uh, but here in the UK, we just get the Funko Spring exclusive. So let's waste no time, and let's take Amy Pond very carefully, because this one will be displayed in box out of her packaging. Looks like she's eager to come out. And there's Amy Pond. Right, so here's Amy Pond out of the packaging and there was a problem with mine. It comes with this base, which has got two pegs, as you can see it on the side there. It's got two pegs in it. One with a bigger peg and one with a smaller peg. But this here on her feet, I don't know if you can make it out, but I've got one hole here on this foot and the other hole here is actually closed up. So I don't know if I could force that in or something, but I'm not too bothered because if you angle it right, you can put the big peg in and she still stand on the uh, base anyway. But like I said, this will be displayed in box for me, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, first of all, we've got a nice, um, really nice orange colour for the hair there. That's a really, really nice tone. I like that really solid ginger look throughout. Got a really nice hair sculpt on that as well. And they spare no details on the back here. As you can see underneath, she is wearing a police uniform from the... Um, episode where the doctor meets Amy Pond for the first time and it turns out that she is a, a kissogram. I'm a kissogram. Nice pair of handcuffs there on her back. She's got a policeman's belt, police woman's belt on as I should say. On the front there she's got a walkie talkie and it says police and she's got her stripes. Uh, basically her face, she's got, um, her face is nice as well, it's easy to identify the character with the police uniform. Maybe I would have gone with a different uh, look, but this is a very iconic look from the first episode we ever meet her. We've got lots of nice freckles on her face there, and um, we've got lots of nice freckles on her face, which is really nice. And um, there she is from the side, I'll show you her all angles. There she is from the back. And then the other side. So it's mostly just hair. She's a huge pop, but she's really good. Like I said, I really like this pop. I think they've really nailed the likeness of Amy Pond there with that policewoman look. I think it's a really nice looking pop, and I think it's definitely one you should pick up for your collection. I've never seen it in stores when I've been Funko hunting. I've only seen it online. I did order it with the 8-bit barb from Stranger Things, but that has yet to be even decided when it's coming in store, which is quite annoying. But this is a really cool pop, and I'm really glad they sent it. I'm glad I picked it up. Right, guys, and just for a comparison, we have Nebula here from the Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers Infinity War. She is obviously Karen Gilligan. She's played by the same person. We've got Amy Pond here. She plays Amy Pond and she plays Nebula. So she's really cool. She's really cool in the world of nerds and she's got two pops to her name now which is even better and a Marvel Legends action figure with Nebula as well. But this is a... they just... I just wanted to do a quick comparison to show you the two next to each other and they're really cool. So overall this Amy Pond figure is one of my favourites in my collection and I will keep it in box. I love Doctor Who and I think apart from Rose Tyler, Amy is probably my favourite companion. She might not even be my favourite to be honest. But thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of Amy Pond and I hope you pick up this pop. Like I said it's at ForbiddenPlanet.co.uk. I can link that in the description below. And don't forget to like this video guys. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. If you are subscribed hit the notification bell. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of Amy Pond. And um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and my Facebook page in the link in the description below. Please check those out guys, it really does help me. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.